Joe, what a great start to the season for you and for the team. Yeah, definitely. We felt we've had a great season. We really set ourselves some goals to, to hit, hit the ground running, and I think we have done. Obviously, playing the champions first up is a, is a big ask, but we really stood up well. We challenged them in lots of areas of the game. We're, we're happy with some areas. Obviously, not, not so happy with other areas, and we've been working hard this week to push on because one, one game's a start, but it's not enough. We're looking to, to go two, two, three games. We're really looking to push on and do some good things. I think for many people, the highlight of Saturday's game was your fly hack downfield race half the length of the field, grab hold of Alex Good, dump him behind the try line for an attacking scrum. It made it sound a lot more glamorous than it was, I think. It was, uh, yeah, I, the ball, ball came loose and I just managed to get a foot on it and I looked around and no one else was chasing it so I thought, oh, I'd better get after it and luckily I managed to pin the guy back, which was a, a good thing for the team. Unfortunately, we didn't capitalise on it, but we, we had a great result in the end. You've been sharing your time with pre-season and Saturday between the back row and lock. Do you have a preference, or are you just happy to play wherever people put you? It's exactly that. I don't really have a preference. They're pretty similar, apart from, apart from the scrum, really. That's the only real difference. The line-up's pretty similar. The scrum's spot on exactly the same. So it's just a case of getting around the pitch. And to be honest, wherever I get asked to play, I'm happy to play. You were one of the standout players in the uh, Junior World Cup, in which all the Wasp players did very well. Is the Premiership a step up from under-20s international? Yeah, it is. You, you, you can't, can't say it's not. There's a, it's a, lot, it's a lot of skill. The skill level is very high on the 20s, and it was a great time. It benefited us as players massively. And, but coming back into the Premiership, you can see a difference. Uh, physicality is much more. Obviously. You're not playing with 20 year olds, you're playing with 30 plus year olds. So it's definitely a lot more physical, but it's something I'm really enjoying. This weekend, it's Leicester. You made your debut against them last year up at Welford Road. They won. You must be relishing the chance to get your own back this weekend. Yeah, I am. It'd be nice to play them at our place. Obviously, like you said, my first game was up there, and it's a real tough introduction to rugby. One I one I loved, and I'm looking forward to it. The rivalry between the two teams is huge. Le Le Leicester Wasp is something which has been going on for years, and I'm looking forward to playing my part in it. The great thing from a Wasp supporters' point of view last weekend was all the new boys did well, but all well, in fact, the whole team did well, but good performances from the debutants. Also, a lot of young players, I mean, alongside you in the back row is Billy Bunipola, who came on for John Hart. Uh, Christian Wade did fantastically on the wing, so some really good young talent coming through. Yeah, we're, we're lucky that we've got, we've got a young squad in general, even right through the first team, right through to the academy. We've got a pretty young squad, and I think the, the youngsters are really looking at other players playing, and they really want a piece of it. And We've got a, a lot of youngsters who haven't had a chance yet, but I'm sure when they get a the chance, they'll, they'll, they'll do really well as well. Now, it was a former Wasp that pushed you in our direction, I believe, wasn't it? Will yeah, Green. Yes, Will Green, yeah. I've a lot, a lot to thank for him. Uh, two, two seasons ago now, I was playing down at Worthing where he was the head coach, and he sent me up here and told me to have a look, and I've not looked back, loved it since. Does it live up to what he told you it was going to be like? Yes, yeah, it does. He's obviously had, he had some great memories here. He was a fantastic prof. He played there for many years and won lots of trophies, and he only had good words to say at the club, and that sort of uh, translated to my time here.